Good morning. Welcome to day 65. Thankfully, it's casual day and I am warm. It is freezing in South Carolina and the wind is blowing at like 900 miles an hour. Stuff blown by the window on its way to Oz, you know, that kind of thing. It's early network. Thank God there's coffee. I'm going to talk briefly uh, about something you're going to go through in the training if you haven't already. Awesome Life Challenge brings it out, if nothing else does. Personality types, and all of us go through the growing pains of putting ourselves out there with regard to executing our training. And several people, um, including myself, have experienced you know, negativity, brought back to us negative comments. I, I did a video some time back <laughs> you know, celebrating my first hater on YouTube. <laughs> And honestly, it didn't hurt my feelings. I was not affected by that person because that person doesn't mean anything to me. Keep a perspective about that stuff. Somebody, you know, people argue online all the time. Keyboard jockeys. That's my husband's term for it. People that wouldn't confront you verbally or have a direct conversation are going to sit behind that keyboard and just say stuff because you look happy. Some people just are so miserable or they're battling their own insignificance to the point that they just really have to try to stomp on somebody else and that's them that's not you get you, you get negativity or whatever see it for what it is and don't take it personally the only people that can hurt you are the people in your inner circle the people that are close to you the people that you love that fine line between love and hate. Yeah, we've all walked that line. Those are the people that can really hurt you emotionally. None of the people online that are going to, you know, do what they do, they can't hurt you. They can't touch you. And I know it's, it's part of, if you're a psychology fan, it's part of the id that is us to be a little defensive. I mean, sure. You're going to be a little defensive. Hey, I'm over here trying to do something good. What are you doing? You're stepping on me. Let it be. Some people can't stand to see other people happy. Some people are like, well, why is he so happy? Why is he doing well? Why can't I have that? Well, you can't have that because you are not willing to go get that. There's a truth. Uh, <laughs> what you allow in your life will continue. So let's allow the good stuff realize that to some degree our personalities attract certain <laughs> certain things <laughs> mine does my personality tends to attract people who initially love that I'm independent and fun loving and you know I, I'm usually never hurtful but I do speak my mind and that ends up being the one thing that they can't deal with in the long run so yeah you attract your energy attracts certain types. Not everybody's good for you. So that's a double edge there. You just kind of, the internet is what it is. The beauty of the internet is you can get on the internet and be whoever the hell you want, right? That can work in a good and a bad way. Personally, in your real life, sometimes things are going to be blatantly obvious. And there are things that you're going to have to address. Don't be afraid. Anyway, just kind of realize that I think earning a hater means you're doing something right, if you ask me. And that's just my opinion. Now, there's a whole pile of psychology that I could get into, but I'm not going to because this is a short. Maybe we'll do that later. It's Wednesday hump day, so woo-woo. I hope everybody knocks it out. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.